when millennials want to appear edgy. They go, they're overrated. Oh, are they? Oh, okay. Okay, well, maybe if you read up on the history at some fucking point. Ah, jeez, I got a phone call. Hang on a second. All right, here's the thing about that. I understand if the Beatles, you're young and the Beatles music doesn't move you. Because, I mean, it's music from literally 50 fucking years ago at this point. That's the end of their career, too. And, and, and the other stuff is coming up on 60 years. Okay, so in defense of you guys, I understand that. Uh, if you don't like it or it doesn't, but they're not overrated. I mean, they just, they influenced an entire generation of, of bands to get started. They made the whole fucking thing possible. And because of them, you're listening to the music that you're listening to today. They are an undeniable part of music history, but, um, I would never, you know, be this old guy going like, you know, if you told me that music sucks, I'm not going to argue that. That's just like, I, I mean, if I fucking grew up now, I, I would like some of their songs. Even I remember in the 80s, like liking them and my teacher being like going like, dude, you don't get it. You don't get how fucking huge it was when a Beatles album came out. It's like the, the, the fucking world stopped for younger people then. And you bought it and people, oh, dude, I got the new Beatles album. Everybody came over and fucking listened to it. I, I mean... I wasn't even part of that. So, um, but as far as like, uh, like Verzi always, Verzi hates the Beatles. And he's just like, yellow submarine, Bill? Yellow sub. It's like, dude, everybody's got a bad fucking joke in their act. Come on. Um, anyways, you know, Verzi, yeah, you know, whatever. I, he's, it's, I, I get it. I get it. It's, it's too much time has passed. Um, I've heard, I've heard younger comics talk about some big comics that way and not get like what the big deal is but what happens is is the further like look look at beethoven can you fucking imagine when that shit first came out like it just you're fucking sitting there you got a goddamn boil the size of my foot on the side of your fucking head you're fighting off typhoid yellow feet whatever the fuck goddamn plague and all of a sudden, this guy just shows up with a hundred of his friends, like yeah, da da da, ba da da da. You're like, dude, what the fuck? You know. And now you're, you're just sitting there eating a subway sandwich in an elevator, and in the background, it's going ba da da da, ba da da da. It just it just doesn't have the same fucking in- impact. Um, but that it doesn't mean the dude's overrated, does it? I don't, I don't fucking know. Um. Anyways. Moving ahead here. Or if you look at you, if you look at what is uh, the soul, if you watch Soul Train, if you watch some of the people dancing from way fucking back then, there's a lot of them that are compared to today's standards. I'm not talking about the legendary dances, just people on the dance floor. I just when I watch because Nia loves that show and I'll be just watching. I just laugh going like, you know, there's a lot of people on this show that are dancing at a level that awful white people dance at today. Like the bar just keeps getting raised off of the work. So if you go back, the hardest thing to do when you go back in history is to f- block out what has happened since then and try to put it into historical perspective, which is is practically impossible. Um it's like going back and looking at Johnny Unitas how he threw for over 40,000 yards in his career and like the next closest guy had half as much as that. But now I like the way the rules have changed like a fucking a, a goddamn Backup quarterback will throw for 30,000 in his career. So it doesn't seem like a big deal. Um, so I don't know. I'm just defending the Beatles. That's all. And now I feel bad that I trashed this fucking museum and I judged it by that goddamn mannequin. I think the whole purpose of all that was me just realizing that I'm a bit of a cunt. Hey, he's a bit of a cunt. There he is. He's a bit of a cunt.